Leftover Women, The Resurgence of Gender Inequality in China, by Lita Hong Fincher, A Literary Analysis. Lita Hong Fincher's Leftover Women, The Resurgence of Gender Inequality in China, is a compelling and insightful exploration of the gender dynamics and societal pressures faced by women in contemporary China. Through meticulous research, personal narratives, and a critical feminist lens, Fincher delves into the phenomenon of leftover women and uncovers the complex web of cultural, social, and political forces that perpetuate gender inequality in the country. The central theme of Fincher's book revolves around the term leftover women, a derogatory label assigned to unmarried women in their late twenties and beyond. The concept is deeply rooted in traditional Chinese beliefs that emphasize women's primary role as wives and mothers. Fincher exposes how this label is used as a tool of social control and demonstrates its detrimental effects on women's lives and aspirations. Through numerous interviews and case studies, she humanizes these leftover women, allowing readers to empathize with their struggles and desires for independence and self-fulfillment. One of the book's strengths lies in its thorough examination of the historical and cultural context in which the leftover women phenomenon has emerged. Fincher traces the roots of this issue back to Confucian ideals that prioritize family and marriage, highlighting how these beliefs have persisted in Chinese society despite rapid modernization. By contextualizing the problem, Fincher helps readers understand that the issue is not solely a product of contemporary China but rather a reflection of deeply ingrained norms and expectations. Fincher also critically analyzes the role of the Chinese government in perpetuating gender inequality. She argues that the state actively promotes the concept of leftover women as a means of encouraging women to marry early and bear children, ultimately serving the government's demographic goals. The book's exploration of state-sponsored media campaigns and policy initiatives provides a chilling insight into the extent of government control over women's lives and choices. Fincher's expose of these practices serves as a powerful indictment of the Chinese Communist Party's role in reinforcing gender stereotypes. Moreover, Fincher explores the intersectionality of gender inequality by addressing how class and urban-rural divides exacerbate the experiences of leftover women. She sheds light on the economic pressures faced by urban women in high-cost cities like Beijing and Shanghai where skyrocketing property prices and living expenses make it challenging for women to find suitable partners. In contrast, rural women grapple with the social stigma of being unmarried and are often pressured to marry early to preserve their family's reputation. Through these narratives, Fincher underscores the need to consider multiple dimensions of inequality to fully grasp the complexity of the issue. Another significant aspect of leftover women is Fincher's critique of the commodification of women in the Chinese marriage market. She highlights how women's social status and economic prospects are closely tied to their marital status, leading to the objectification of women as potential wives. This commodification, she argues, reduces women to mere bargaining chips in a competitive and materialistic marriage market. By revealing the harsh realities of this market, Fincher exposes the dehumanizing consequences of traditional gender roles and expectations. Fincher's book also explores the rise of feminist activism in China and the resilience of women who challenge the leftover women narrative. She introduces readers to inspiring women who have taken to social media and grassroots organizing to demand equality and autonomy. Their stories offer a glimmer of hope amid the oppressive societal norms they confront. In conclusion, Lita Hong Fincher's Leftover Women, The Resurgence of Gender Inequality in China, is a powerful literary work that combines meticulous research, 
personal narratives, and critical analysis to shed light on the pervasive issue of gender inequality in China. Fincher's exploration of the leftover women phenomenon within its historical, cultural, and political context serves as a compelling call to action, challenging readers to reconsider their perceptions of gender roles and advocate for a more equitable society. This book is not only an invaluable resource for those interested in gender studies and Chinese society but also a poignant reminder of the ongoing struggle for gender equality worldwide.